Hello fellow anglers and welcome back to Fishing with ZM. And today we're delving into a knot that's particularly handy for specific hooks and fishing setups. We'll go over those hooks and setups at the end of the video. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned pro, knowing how to tie this knot can make a big difference in your fishing success. For this demonstration, we're going to be using our 50 pound trilene monoline and teen catfish ADOT hooks. The snell knot is especially useful when you want to secure your hook in a way that encourages a more direct hook set. Step one, give yourself about eight to 12 inches. Begin by threading the tag end of your line through the eye of the hook from the front to the back, leaving a generous tag end to work with. Step two, hold the tag end parallel to the shank of the hook, making sure it's on the opposite side of the point of the hook as seen here. Step three, now take the tag end and wrap it around the shank of the hook and the main line. Do this five to seven times. Keep these wraps tight and snug. Step four, after completing the wraps, pass the tag end through the eye of the hook, back to front. This should create a loop that goes over the hook's shank. Step five, Wet the knot slightly with water or saliva. Again, this reduces the friction when you cinch down a knot and should be done every time you tie a knot. Step six, carefully pull on the tag end to tighten the wraps against the shank of the hook. Make sure it's snug and secure. And on a larger hook such as this, we're able to hold the hook in our fingers. Step seven, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to see more and trim off the excess tag end to close the knot. Leave a small tag end for added security as you should with every knot. Certain types of hooks that are best for using a snail knot would be circle hooks and Aberdeen hooks. The design of the circle hook makes them effective for hooking fish in the corner of the mouth, reducing the chance of gut hooking. Hence our team catfish circle hooks that we tend to use in our videos. And Aberdeen hooks. These hooks are commonly used for live bait fishing. The snell knot provides a secure connection. And the Aberdeen hooks have a long shank making them suitable for threading live bait. Now, as far as fishing setups, we're talking about bottom fish rigs. The snell knot is popular and bottom fish rigs where direct and strong connection to the hook is crucial. It's commonly used with targeting species like catfish, walleye, and some panfish and live bait rigs. Again, going back to the Aberdeen hook, live bait rigs. When using live bait, especially with long shank hooks, the snell knot ensures that the hook is positioned correctly from optimal hook sets.